They only deal with the worst of the worst, not criminals, but properties that can pose a threat for a number of reasons. This is San Antonio's Dangerous Assessment Response Team, a joint effort by police, fire, code enforcement, ACS, human services, and other city agencies. Recently, DART temporarily closed a convenience store that attracted drug dealers and drive-by shootings. By the end of the year, the team expects to handle more than 50 cases. The night team's Jesse DeGriato was there for the latest one, involving a house on the city's east side with at least half a dozen dogs and a tenant living in deplorable conditions. Overgrown trees made the house hard to see from the street, yet the dangerous assessment response team known as DART was already aware of what was inside, as you can see in these photos taken by DART. The floor is so weak that I fell right through. The city attorney tells me there's not even flooring inside the house, more like wooden planks, also no walls, not even sheetrock, just rotten wood. And it's certainly in, in no condition where you would want anyone uh, to live, uh, a human or animal. Even too unsafe for code enforcement officers to inspect. Well, yeah, that tells you a lot about how bad it was inside. Yet that's where this tenant had been living. There with him, SAPD's mental health unit that's also part of DART. Sometimes they don't know that they're being helped. Deputy City Attorney Jose Nino says this kind of response is necessary when owners don't act. Many people do not want to uh, be told what to do. Until finally it takes a warrant after at least a two-year history of code or criminal violations impacting health and safety. Here it was initial concern for the dogs that animal care services had seen inside that house to prevent demons from getting to them, according to what ACS says the tenant told them. Officers at the scene later discovered several dogs they didn't know about. One of the rooms is boarded up and they're going to need bolt cutters to get access to that room. I figured that. I, I've never been in there, but I figured that because of what I've seen. The disturbing reality, they say, is that this wasn't an isolated case. I mean, it's one of those we come across these properties all the time, unfortunately. Jesse Degollado, KSAT 12 News. Created in 2007, DART is often asked to do something about other properties, but the city attorney says DART must first show a persistent history of problems in order to get a warrant before it can act. We have more about the DART unit on our website, ksat.com.